Hey guys, welcome to Zars Divine Guidance. And in today's video, I'm going to talk about how you can identify if you have been cursed by some people or by yourself as well. Yes, curses are very real. And like there are two ways in which you can be cursed. One is either by intentional cursing in which people do hexes and curses and different types of hoodoos and they put a curse on you so that your life gets miserable. And the second way is unintentionally by either people or by yourself. So how can people unintentionally curse you? It is when they think about you constantly with negative emotions such as anger, jealousy, hatred, uh, all that negative emotions. They just pile up into your aura and they cause a curse uh, on you. And even if you keep on thinking negatively about your life situations or about yourselves or about how you'll do uh, with uh, life or anything negative, if you constantly keep thinking that about yourself, your life and yourself in a negative way, you unintentionally curse yourselves. Okay, so how to identify whether you have been cursed by someone or by yourself? Um, I'm going to tell you some of the symptoms. If you see that you're having four or more of these symptoms, know that you have been cursed intentionally or unintentionally. First is having discomfort in your shoulders, back or having headaches. Second is disturbed sleep or getting frequent nightmares. Third is uh, having different types of physical problems without any medical explanation. Like maybe you feel that you're having pain in your shoulders or you're having some kind of anxiety, but you go to the doctor and they say that there's nothing wrong with you. So without any medical explanation, you're having some kind of issue, then uh, that is a symptom that you have been cursed. Next is your relationships with people, they get bitter all of a sudden. You get financial crisis all of a sudden. Or if you're in some, some business or something like that, that goes down all of a sudden. Then uh, you'll be having... Uh, bruises in your body or small or big accidents, frequent accidents. Uh, maybe you'll walk and trip and fall. Like small, small accidents you'll be having all of a sudden. Um, then again, you'll get sleep paralysis. And if you don't know what sleep paralysis is, it's like when you're sleeping, you feel as if you are awake, but you cannot move your body at all. And you you might see some kind of creatures or shadowy figures while uh, that thing happens. So that is called sleep paralysis. Then you'll be having mental confusions about your life or uh, your life choices or confusions all, all of the time regarding different decisions of your lives. And you'll be constantly feeling demotivated. Even all those things which you like to do, you won't be liking those at all. Those things won't be motivating you at all. Low motivation, then depression, or always feeling anxious, lonely, sad. All these things are symptoms of uh, being cursed by you or by someone. So if you're having four or more than four, high chances are there that you have been cursed by yourselves or by someone else. Okay, so now how can you get rid of all this? Uh, first of all, I'd like to tell you that if it's a heavy curse, and you'll be knowing that if it's a heavy curse, like, the symptoms will be much more severe, uh, like having medical issues without any medical evidence, and sometimes hauntings are also there in your house. So, if it's very much, prob it's chances are more that someone else has put a curse on you, and I'm sorry, I cannot say any such remedies uh, about that, about such big curses over here because I'm not an expert in that. Um, but I'd advise you to consult someone who's into this field, into spirituality and all, who can cleanse you and your aura out of all those negative things and curses and hexes. But if you're having like small things like disturbed sleep and everything all like all that, first way of getting rid is keeping charcoal with you always or at least when you're sleeping. Because the main thing is that if you cleanse your aura of all the negativity, that curse or hex will be broken. Second is salt. You can use salt to cleanse your aura. Third is crystals like amethyst, black tourmaline. They are very good protective uh, crystals. Fourth is cleansing your aura with the help of meditation. Visualize that you are um, 
cleansing your aura with the help of a ball of light. And these are some of the easiest methods. If you want to know in details about these methods, you can check the video link that I've given down in my description as well as in my comment section. I had made a video previously about uh, how to cleanse your aura using uh, different types of things. So you can check it out if you want. So guys, I guess that'll be it for today. I hope my video helped you in some way. Thank you so much for listening to me and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.